A controller in ASP.NET Core Web API is used to handle the HTTP request and then send back an HTTP response. And on this part, you'll add your first controller, but before you add any controllers, you'll need to clean up the existing solution from the unnecessary data. For that, let us go to Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, let us go to the Solution Explorer. Then we are going to first remove the Weather Forecast class because we don't need that class. So delete. Okay. Then inside the Controllers folder, let us delete the Weather Forecast controller. So delete. Now let us build this project. So Control Shift B. Or you can just go to build and then build solution. So we see that we don't have any errors. Now let us add our controller. So solution explorer. In here, I'll just right click on the controllers folder, then go to add a controller. From the options on the left, select API, then select the API controller dash empty because we are going to create our controller from scratch. Then next click the add button. In here from the options that you get, select the API controller empty. And then down here, you need to provide a name for the controller. I'll name this controller, the books controller, and I click the add button. Now, by default, a controller doesn't have any API endpoints. And we are going to create the API endpoints starting from the next part. In here, you have the route where the API route is defined. So basically, whenever we want to call API endpoints from within this controller, we need to write slash API at the end of the localhost. So it will be, for example, localhost, then port number, then slash API, slash the controller. In our case, the books, so it will be API slash books, and then the API endpoint name. Then next, you have the API controller decorator. The API controller decorator is used to define when a controller is an API controller or an MVC controller. Then next we have the public class books controller because controllers are just C-sharp classes which inherit from the controller base class. 